Hello YouTube and welcome to a bonus version of Race Car Fabrication and Restoration. It's Sunday afternoon, we got in from church and it's rainy outside, so we decided, hey, nothing else come here. We thought we'd play with steering a little bit. So uh, what we're doing, we're putting a shaft in and uh, we got to clear some A-frames and stuff, but we're going to use an old school uh, firewall mount bearing that I had left over here. And uh, we're going to try to put this thing in and uh, then we'll run a regular, a regular Heim uh, off of the steering shaft support. Uh, so that'll give us our mid support because we will have one universal. We, we're going to use a typical three quarter inch steering shaft universal to put in here. So uh, sit back and we're going to try to get this stuff in here and we'll see how it turns out. We'll be right back with you in just a second. Hang in there. Welcome back YouTube. As you can see, we've got a little work done on the steering. We have it dummied in and uh, kind of mocked up. We're gonna use a firewall bearing, as I mentioned in the last segment. Uh, but we obviously have some work we have to do here on the firewall. We're actually gonna trim this straight. Then we're gonna come across here and go straight across. We're gonna eliminate this piece here then we'll trim that down there. So I'll make it look a lot neater. And then the new firewall piece will take all the way over here. We'll eliminate as many of these holes as we can in this panel down here. Then that'll give us some fresh metal to mount the firewall bearing to. Uh, we did get the seat in. I was trying to get the oldest school looking seat I could get. A friend of mine up in Kansas had this seat and I bought it from him. And uh, as far as left to right, It'll, it's going to come out okay. It's not angled correctly now, but that'll be corrected once we get everything mounted. We just have everything, everything mocked up. We found some old Heim joints, and I cut their original uh, mount they had, cut it off, and we just got it mocked up right now. But I think the height right there is going to be pretty close as far as reference to the seat. I may drop it down just a little bit, but that's going to be pretty close. Uh, the mailman has been really busy. In addition to the seat, we got all of our exhaust stuff in, and I'm gonna probably tackle that first, but we now have the extension pipes. You can see how this is gonna work. Um, this will go, you know, the pipes here will go from these headers to the Y pipe back there. And um, so that's gonna be pretty sweet. Uh, I've gotta build some mounts to mount everything and make it solid. So we will continue to work on that. But anyway, that's where we're at, and we'll try to get started here and see what we can get into today, and we'll be right back with you. Hang in there. Well, welcome back, YouTube, and as you can see, we got the exhaust installed, and it's kind of mocked in right now. But it's a pretty tricky angles here, so I'm gonna have to weld these with them in the car to make sure I maintain this, because obviously there's a there's a larger gap here than there is back there in the back. So thank goodness for these good slip on joints. We're able to uh, make it work, but uh, that should sound pretty sweet. And uh, of course we'll cut the exhaust pipe out, the exit pipe out whenever we get the body on and figure out. Uh, so it just barely clears the side of the body, but it uh, looks pretty sweet. I like it. And I think it's a lot of work fabricating these pieces here to get these angles right, but we got everything done. We'll go ahead and we'll bolt it up here first, in both places down there. So we'll bolt everything up before we weld it to make sure everything stays stationary. Obviously, the only place we'll weld is here and here, and then everything else will be used with tabs. I have some tabs on order, uh, mounting tabs, like uh, like those back there, and we'll everything else will be bolted together. So the only thing to be welded just be this front joint up here. So everything else will be slip joint. But anyway, that's pretty cool. I like it. And we will uh, go ahead and go to the next project. I think I'm gonna try to tackle some of this firewall now. So stay tuned and uh, we'll be right back with you.
welcome back YouTube. And as you can see, we are done with the exhaust, uh, complete with all of the hangers and the tabs, even cut the extension that was sticking out too far. Uh, roughly figuring the body should be you know, right here. So I've got a little bit long, but by the time we get the body, we may have to trim it back just a little bit here, uh, a little bit further. Got all the new uh, tabs on and everything is hung off the frame. So this is complete all the way back. So I think we're gonna go ahead and call that project, check it off the list for now. I'll go ahead and start on the seat, try to get it mounted. And once I get the seat mounted, we will be able to get the steering shaft located. And I did get this firewall cleaned up a little bit. We've still got some more work to do on it, but we're gonna start trying to work on the firewall so we get that steering shaft center bearing uh, mounted on the firewall. So hang with us. We'll be right back with you, and we'll keep on working here. Stay tuned. Okay, welcome back, YouTube. And boy, the sparks have been flying. Uh, we got the seat mounted, and we were able to use the existing seat mounts. And so now that we've got the seat mounted, uh, we will go ahead and try to work on this firewall. I've come here and I've cut all this. I was talking about made this all real nice and neat and square. And we're fixing to go ahead and build a template and see if we can figure out how we can uh, plate that back in. I'm going to use some thin sheet metal, flat sheet metal, and we'll weld it in. And then uh, it's going to be a little tricky. We've got some uh, little combination corners here, but I think we can work with it okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make us a pattern, though. I'm going to with something this complicated, we'll go ahead and make a cardboard pattern out first. So we'll do that, and we will be back with you. But uh, so far, looking pretty good. We also picked up the steel for the fuel cell. Uh, the fuel cell is in here. This came out of the donor late model. But we just went and picked up the square tubing for that from the steel company. We're just going to use some 11-gauge, 1-inch uh, square tubing, 11-gauge. So I think that would be thick enough to hold it. So we will get that hopefully mounted this afternoon maybe try to just get it stuck in there but that's where we're at so stand by and we will be back with you here shortly and give you another update Welcome back, YouTube. Uh, we got our template made, and this kind of give you an idea of what it's going to look like. And come around this side. Uh, kind of got a little issue now, though. You never realize until you start building templates. That's why you always do this. Um, this presents a problem right here on how to get my firewall bearing mounted. So I either I'm going to go to a regular hind like we have up here and just mount one off the frame, or I may actually come off with a, a bracket here and actually mount the bearing to that so we mount it actually on the outside of the firewall just a little bit and still be a solid bracket. So that's why you try to mock things up and see what you're gonna run into. But we will think on this for a minute and see if we can come up with a game plan and we'll be right back with you and see what we're gonna do. Hang in there, we'll be right back. Well, welcome back, YouTube. Uh, it's been a very productive day. We got the steering system in, and I, I came up with a bracket down there to be able to take care of my firewall clearance issue, and that'll be fine. That'll be safe enough whenever we get the new piece of steel welded in. We'll bolt that in on both sides, and that will be enough to support the firewall bearing. Had to heat the frame up just a little bit down here to uh, get clearance there. We actually got the steering wheel in, measured the distance to the seat and that's kind of what i've got back here in my 88 car and that's kind of a comfortable position and i think our height here is going to be okay so uh been really good day well get uh, all the steering done and the firewall mocked up the exhaust is done 
and we're going to probably tackle the rear end tomorrow. I do have a new quick change panel bar bracket that came in. Plus, we got new clutch master cylinder, new idler arm stuff for the drag length that'll fit these spindles on this car. So, got a lot to do tomorrow, but uh, got a lot done today. The main thing with the exhaust and the steering, but uh, we're making a lot of progress and get this rear end in here uh working that tomorrow and plus i've got the square tubing as i was saying earlier for the for the fuel cell and i'll probably go ahead and get that fuel cell ready to mount up tomorrow so man we're uh we're moving right along so anyway appreciate you watching stay tuned we'll be back with you asap hang in there welcome back youtube and it's been a great couple of days i normally on the road traveling for my company but Due to the holidays, I was in uh, town here locally. I was able to get in here and work in the shop some at night uh, before it got too cold. But uh, appreciate you guys watching. Remember, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I ask that you do so and tell your friends about it. It's free. It doesn't cost any money. If when you subscribe to the YouTube channel, it just lets you know uh, by email, they'll contact you. Hey, Race Car Fabrication and Restoration has a new video up. So that's all it is. But we're just trying to grow the channel and tell your friends about us. I really would appreciate that. Uh, we've got some really exciting things coming up uh, as we work on this car and we'll get started on this uh, all pro Camaro as well. So I hope you guys have a great week and a uh, Merry Christmas and uh, coming up here just in a couple of days. But thank you for watching and we'll see you next week. Take care.